I've got some new busy bins for you guys in today's video. These are great to have on hand to do activities with your kids so you can learn through play. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. I am long overdue, and you guys have been asking me for these videos for preschool busy bins, busy boxes, activities for kids so they can learn through play. So I have some new ideas for you. Some have some Dollar Tree finds in them too to keep it very budget friendly. So let's get started with those ideas. Let's first talk about the actual bins <laughs> that we use. You can use whatever it is you have at your house, honestly. I actually like these from Dollar Tree. They come in a couple of different sizes. This is kind of like your smaller square ones. I have some other ones that are rectangular and a little bit deeper. And for $1.25, these are just a really nice choice. These are the Sure Fresh brand, so they're going to be found over in the kitchen things. And I have a couple of these, and I just like that if you get a couple, you can stack them up. I know some people like to label them with the days of the week or what's inside of them, so that can be up to you. And this is just what I'm going to use. But if you have something at home, by all means, I would just use that. Let's see. What we're doing for this this one is one that I showed over on Instagram and it's Dollar Tree based. The dentist kit at Dollar Tree in the toy section is so, so cute. It looks like this. This is the new packaging. There was some older packaging before and it comes with a couple things. We have the teeth here. Cute, right? <laughs> it's all made of plastic and it comes with a couple other accessories so you can play dentist um, a tooth extractor which I think is kind of funny to put in here you have your little dentist tray here there's a thermometer and a band-aid there I guess because you would band-aid your teeth I guess <laughs> is that what it is and then we have a plastic toothbrush the bristles don't move it's just plastic and some little tweezers here I guess to take stuff out of your teeth I don't know but that it's a dentist medical kit I don't know these pieces I'm not worried about because we're not going to use them they're kind of pointless for what we're doing. And I thought this would be a really great busy bin activity. This one's going to be more supervised because I know a lot of times busy boxes are meant for the child to do what it is they want to do like on their own. So this one's a little bit more involved, but I also think it's a really good one. So we have the teeth here. Also at the Dollar Tree, picked up some toothbrushes. This was a three pack because I just thought it was the best value. Of and then I also like that it came with cases that I could use <laughs> after this activity. It's a multi-purpose there. I'm trying to think ahead or if you have multiple kids this also might be beneficial so i'm going to use one of these toothbrushes at dollar tree you can also find pudding cups which is going to be needed for this activity and then you're going to need a little tray of water and I put some dish soap in there. This tray is just a ceramic one, but you can of course use plastic and then probably a towel to clean up or a paper towel or, or something of that nature because this is going to get a little messy and that's okay. Start off with this activity. We are going to put some pudding on to our teeth. Yeah, that's what makes this so much fun. Another person over on Instagram suggested using dry erase marker on it, which which apparently also works. I haven't tried that. So if you've tried that, let me know. But just spread, this is the part you do, spread some of that chocolate pudding, which is great because this makes it taste safe on your teeth. And you don't need a lot. You can go crazy if you want, but you don't need, you don't need a lot. I'm just going to smear some off. I'm just using the end of my toothbrush because that's what I have right now. And you would put chocolate pudding on the teeth and that's how you'd prep this activity. And then maybe you would eat the pudding after. I don't know, maybe, right? Once that's done, you can give the activity to your child and the toothbrush and their job is to take a little bit of our toothpaste, so to speak, and to brush off the chocolate pudding. Now, this is a great opportunity to talk about teeth brushing, to talk about how to use a toothbrush in your circle motions, using the tip of the toothbrush to get off all of that chocolate pudding or those nasty little leftover food bites from eating. Talk about all the teeth and where to start. You could even put a timer in here like you would and mimic at home for a two minute teeth brushing until it gets all clean. A very simple way to demonstrate teeth brushing, especially if you have a toddler or preschooler who's learning how to brush their own teeth. Love this activity and I think it's a really effective one to do and it makes a really good busy box activity. Next up, I wanted to put this one together with you guys because I think it's actually kind of fun to do because you can use things that you have in your own house. So this one we're going to call a letter exploration box. <laughs> this is the part where you go around your house and you look for all of the alphabet letters that you have. I'm not doing the whole alphabet in here. I just want to do one particular letter that you might be working on. So I have some letters here. Actually, these are lowercase. Let's stick with uppercase for now. 
While I was over at the Creative Learning Company warehouse sale, if you saw on Instagram maybe a couple months ago, I bought this package of acrylic letters. They're just white letters. They're a little translucent. You could probably use them on a light table and the light would kind of come through them. But they're a really fun sensorial activity and that's what I wanted to do with this. So I wanted to think of something to do with these letters. What letters should we do? Should we do C for Christina? Let's do C for Christina. And I thought, well, how fun would it be to have a box full of letters in different types of styles? I also have these letters. They're wooden letters from Dollar Tree. So I can find the C and it's a different size different style it's made out of wood and then i started looking around the house what else do i have in alphabet i have these letter erasers these are from target and they brought them back again this year your store might still have them i'm not sure I'm not, don't quote me on that but if they do these are a really fun thing to have they're just erasers and i got them in letters and numbers and they were like a dollar a package so check your store if you haven't gotten them just in case so i pull out that c different style different color i have these these letters, these were out from years ago in the Target dollar section and I made my own letter box. We use this letter box so much in preschool, but I've got a different C here. And I'm just using C just because that's the letter that I picked. Use a letter that you're working on learning, a letter that you're having difficulty with. And I'm sticking to one letter just because these are lowercase. If you have magnetic letters, this would also be a good option, but these are lowercase. So I'm gonna hold on to these for a second for a different activity. So we'll come back to that. Let's see, I also have these letters. What was I talking about? I was talking about using what you have. Ah, here we go. Here's a C. These were from an activity from Target, the magnetic boards. See, they're magnets on the side, but it's a different display of the C. So I'm using one letter just to focus on one letter for a preschooler because you can get overwhelmed with so many letters. Oh, and then I have these. These came from the Lakeshore sponsored video I did. So this was sent to me for that video and full disclosure, but they are tactile letters and these are so amazing. They got gel inside and they got texture on the outside. And I'm going to put one of these in here and I'm showing you these because these right now I believe are on sale at the time of this I'm filming this video if not I do have a coupon code for you where's the C and you'll be able to use the coupon on them if they aren't already on sale the coupon code if I don't put it in the description box somebody remind me otherwise it's going to be in that Lakeshore video I posted about a week or so ago okay if I can find the C C is in purple isn't that perfect I went around the house I found C's if you don't have as many C's as I do you can also do the same exact thing with paper and laminate the paper so go to your computer print out a whole bunch of C's make them really large in your word processor print them out change them to different colors different patterns and then laminate them and you're going to have the exact same effect. I wanted to create a C box. This looks very simple, but for a child that's learning their letters, this is about exploration, about touching and holding, feeling, looking at the shape, colors, how they feel, and that they're all the same letter C. They're all just in different styles. So it's a letter exploration box. So if you wanted to step it up a little bit and not just have the letter C's, you can add objects. I also did this alphabet picture magnet set in my shop with me Lakeshore Hall. So this was part of that sponsored video too in full disclosure. This was pretty unique because there are picture magnets in here but there's picture magnets that have the letter sound for each one of these. So if you wanted to work up to letter sounds you can do that too. So it's going to take me a second to find the C's. This box had three different ones for the letter C. I have a little guide here that helps me. I'm looking for a car, carrots, and cat would be our letters. Here's the car. We need carrots and cat. Oh, I just threw the cat in there. Where'd it go? Here's the cat and we just need carrots. So this is bringing it up a step just from letter exploration. So when your child's ready to learn letter sounds, this would be a logical step. Here's carrots to add to your box or even objects. If you have some play food that are carrots, or you have a little stuffed animal that is a cat. If you have a little car, whoops, you have a little car, you can put a car in there and have a physical object as well. This little set is just really handy because they've kind of done it for you and it's a little bit more compact. And then you can start talking about letter sounds with all of these pictures. Now I like to give you options, right? Some things that you can do. So the next step up, you could also add in those lowercase letters and that's what I was talking about this magnetic letters kit also from the Lakeshore video so you can have some lowercase 
whoops, so I have a lowercase c here, and then I have those magnetic letters. Now, lowercase c, it's a little bit harder to tell that they're lowercase <laughs> because I have some smaller ones, so this probably would work better. These are uppercase too, hold on. Oh no, here's a lowercase. So this would work better with letters that you can tell are obviously uppercase and lowercase. So boo on me for examples here. I'm sure there's somebody out there that's yelling at their screen right now <laughs> at my mistake. Here we go. So you can, can't see that on white on white. So you can have your lowercase and uppercase match in the same box. So if you had lowercase and uppercases in here, you can find the matches to them to complete your uppercase and lowercase recognition. So that's another way that you can use that. Although my letter C wasn't that good of an example, right? And then if you wanna get even more advanced, I'm gonna take out these letter sounds here and add in more letters. Let's add in H, for example. Maybe your child knows both of them. You can shake it up. Hopefully things won't fall out. And then you can sort your letters, right? All the H's go together, all the C's go together, and you can have a letter sort that way. This too, this becomes too easy. You can add in more letters to that. Although I wouldn't do the whole alphabet. Well, maybe you could do the whole alphabet if you have a child that knows. Here, some A's in there. <laughs> shake it up into your letter box, and now you can sort even more letters. Oh, I forgot my A textile A, my tactile A. So you can see there's a lot of variations that you can do on something like this, real simple, with all of these letters that you probably already have in your house, because I know I have a lot of letter alphabets. So I thought it might be a very fun way to actually use all of the letter alphabets that you might have or have collected through the years. If you guys can think of some other ways to do a letter box, please let me know in the comments and share with everybody else. I'm sure they would love to hear your ideas. And then from Bath, I thought we would pick up a couple more Dollar Tree items. So I have the set, or actually these are a couple set of ducks. Dollar Tree will sell these. You can find them in the toy section. Sometimes you can't find them in the toy section. That's because they put them in the baby section because they're little rubber ducks. But these are really great. I think they come three to a pack now. And what you can do is get a couple packages of them, at least for 10, and you can write the number on the bottom. So I numbered some of these, there's a two, here's a three, and then I'm gonna add in a package of flashcards. These also came from Dollar Tree, and I like this one in particular because it has the number on the card by itself, see? Isn't that beautiful? And not only that, it comes in really pretty colors. So I'm just gonna pull out the numbers that I need. Let's just say one to five, just because. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I actually have more than that. So you can go up to however many ducks that you have and just use those cards. And then you can put that inside your bin and have it all ready to go. You can do this in a couple of different ways. You can just pull one card and match that many ducks to that number, six ducks. Or you can use the cards to do number order, right? Sequencing here and then finding that duck that matches that number and match it up. Or you can get extra fancy, you guys, and add in some water into our duck bin. This is totally unnecessary, but it's kind of fun. This I have bought and I haven't used yet. It's the blue tubing. If you watch any of my videos for sensory play, you already know this is like one of my go-to sensory play materials. It's just so easy, light, and fun, and it's a great sensory bin filler. So you can turn this into a sensory bin really easily. This is just mesh tubing. It's in the floral section in Dollar Tree. If you cut it up in little bits, of course you wanna do this with a child who isn't oral. That means the child's not putting things into their mouth any longer because you don't want to have a choking hazard. And with any activities that you do with your child, please supervise them, especially if they are under three, because you don't want any accidents happening. What this is doing is it's making it into more of a sensory bin. Sensory is things that involve our senses, obviously, right? And so this becomes really great for touch, but it's a non-threatening touch. Sometimes with sensory sensitive children, they don't like to touch certain textures, sticky and wet are usually the ones that they don't like. And this this is a non-threatening one because it's neither sticky or wet. It is shiny, it's a little bit rough, but it's something that will help warm up their senses to get used to texture and play. And that's why we do sensory bins, is to help sensory sensitive children get used to new textures or 
to help sensory seeker kids get that input that they need when playing because sometimes kids really really want that texture so I'm just cutting in bits and pieces to make my favorite sensory bin here I chose blue for water for the ducks I also had silver and I thought about using the silver but I thought this would be pretty for a little ducky sensory bin so I'm gonna create some water here and then I'll come right back when I'm done all right coming to the end here another thing I like this as a sensory bin filler is that it's much easier to clean up if it spills isn't that fun? Oh, I just love that. Our little duckies hiding inside their little swimming pool here. So cute. And so now you can do any of those counting activities or even imaginative play for that matter. And now you can root in here, feel around and look for those numbers and plot them onto your number cards. These cards on the other side actually have the quantity shown. So you could match up one to one if you wanted to. The ducks are just a little bit big for that, but you could if you wanted to. This one you can keep all together into one container here and have it ready to go for a busy bin. I do have a whole playlist filled with busy bins and busy boxes, so I'll put that up on the screen so you can go check out some more ideas. Be sure to click subscribe and give me a thumbs up to show your love.